the biggest, most prestigious event in our sporting calendar. Yet, it's beyond sport. Witness history in the making. The 1999 Melbourne Cup Carnival, live and exclusive, starts Saturday on 10. The tight figures for the next race with Dan Maliki. Daniel, it's the uh, middle pin of the Group 1 treble, the McKinnon Stakes. And tie the knot at $3.40 is the favourite. He's had 11 starts in Victoria for just the one win. It was a Group 1 win. Uh, Indigays at $12.00. Uh, has been drawing barriers one the last three starts gets out into a bit of uh, daylight they say today and may well improve uh, four referrals 640 Aerosmith 780 one of the favorites for the Melbourne Cup last year placed a group one level last time Skybow Big Odds Rogan Josh at $11 Rebel at 65 then Oliver Twist 13 with Arena Lawyer at 44 Sent home at 590, Rebel 34, and Rondolozzi is at about $62. So that's the field of 13 that will line up for the Louis Vuitton McKinnon Stakes race number. Welcome back, viewers around Australia and uh, right throughout North America on cable television as well. This is Amy Victoria Derby Day 1999 and uh, a pretty magnificent crowd in and it uh, shouldn't be too long to find out uh, how many. Now, let's have a look at uh, all placings in the Derby. You can see where your horse finished and the favourite horses did fill the placings of course. Blackfriars, Shogun Lodge and Dyer Tribe. A few of the other interesting runners. Liberty Hall was up there too. Chief Scout, uh, disappointing down the tail of the field. That's where all horses finished, just in case. You might have been running some sort of a competition. You needed a last place getter. It is Rock of the Ages there. So there's the Amy Victoria Derby field, how they finished. After all of that drama and all of that emotion. And uh, what an extraordinary day. Look at this. Watch this. Robert Sangster and Peter Hayes. Great mates. The family's been very close for a very long time. And uh, great day for them. And Peter Donegan, this next race, and our North American viewers will be very interested because the toppy here is the favourite for this race. He's the favourite for the Melbourne Cup. Very interesting to see how tie the knot goes. Just to uh, bring you up to date with the other times, 4.13 for race 8, the Salinger, and the Yellenby Stud Stakes at 4.50. So uh, those races have been put back a few minutes. There is Shane Dye making his way out to tie the knot. He's a professional. All of what's gone on should be put behind him now because he is riding the Melbourne Cup favourite in this race. Yes, one of his dear friends, tie the knot. Not. Oh, look at him. He looks fantastic, Peter. And whatever he does today uh, will be a great indication on what he will do on Tuesday. He's just such a good horse. He can't run a bad race. He might even win today. What about the fact that he's one win from 10 starts in Melbourne and he's a Flemington maiden? Well, uh, I think the fact that he's probably the best day we have here in Australia probably discounts that. I agree. <laughs> Either goes number two, Craig Carmody. He was known as a giant killer. He's running the Cox Plate, no doubt was disappointing. There were excuses before that. Can he bounce back? Well, good horses can, and he's got plenty of class about him into gaze, and I think I'd be prepared to forgive him for that run in the Cox Plate. And let's hope that he's right on target here today, because he's a terrific horse as well. I reckon this bike's going to improve today, Jen. Referral number four for Corey Brown. Ran over the 2,400 metres in the Caulfield Cup. I think is a better horse, either at 1,600 or 2,000. Well, he's got the 2,000 here today, and I think he'll go very well. Back on the dry track, that suits him as well. He looks well. Um, yes, he's, he must be rated a good chance. What about the old boy Aerosmith? He's been around for a while, seven years of age. Damien Oliver rides for Peter Hurdle. Well, he ran third in this last year. He's a horse that also likes the dry track, and he's got that. And uh, he should be able to improve here. He's as honest as they come, and uh, he'll give you a sight for your money. They were jumping out of the trees during the week to back Rogan Josh, number seven, in the Foster's Melbourne Cup on Tuesday, and there is his Melbourne Cup. Uh, well, John Marshall, who will be accompanying him today, and Bart Cummings is the trainer, and of course he knows a thing or two about Melbourne Cups. Sure does, having won ten of them. Rogan Josh, um, a very good run there in the Caulfield Cup. Uh, he's a horse that he'll probably get back in this race, but I tell you what, it'll be great to see what he does here today for Tuesday. What about Oliver Twist? He absolutely strolled in in the Kunji. Yes, I think it's his acid test here today. Arena, number ten, Darren Gauching. Uh, he's a very honest performer and he's got to put himself into the race too. Derby winner of last year, there he is, number 10. And let's take a look at the Smokey, the Kiwi, number 12, sent home to be ridden by Lance O'Sullivan. Yes, yeah, so I'm lucky enough to see a couple of his runs and this horse does go extremely well. I think you'd keep him very safe if you're taking trifectas. $6.10 on the tote, he's eased out 40 cents. Trifecta from you, Jen? Well, I'm going with the Smokey, number 12, sent home. From number 4, referral, number 1, tie the knot. And I'll go tie the knot. What are they showing on the tote, Daniel? 
will tie the knot as the favourite at uh, around the $3 mark. That is uh, sent home. Their famous colours, Peter pointed out earlier on today. Carbine wore them, superimposed wore them. And uh, sent home has got a chance to add to uh, a Group 1 tally. It's a very good horse. I saw him win in New Zealand, the Celt Stakes. And he's got a terrific turn of foot and considering the first three or four runners too. So he might end up getting the run of the race sent home. Tie the knot favourite, $2.90. Intergays trimming up into $10. $6 referral, $9 Aerosmith, Rogan Josh out to 15 and on the next page, Arena given a chance with Oliver Twist, but it's uh, sent home at $6, who's about the equal second pick. again because the Melbourne Cup favourites going around in the Louis Vuitton McKinnon Stakes. They're filling the gates. Here are the last minute thoughts of Roy Higgins as they adjust the girth on referral. Thanks Pete. Yes, the favourite for the Melbourne Cup tie the knot. The top weight or number one in this particular race looked absolutely outstanding in the mounting yard. This run will just tighten him up perfectly for Tuesday. I think Shane Dye gets a chance to win a big one here. I marked him clearly on top of two intergays. Look for a better run from him today. Certainly the four referral. This horse has done an absolute treat since his good run recently and I'm looking at the New Zealander. He's a bit uptight but he's a nice horse number 12 sent home. The last minute thoughts of Roy Higgins. Dan Maliki and Gary Willits in the commentary box. Yes, Peter will tie the knot. Certainly looks good. The last one's going in. I'd like to see him go straight. He gets his chance on the big track here. Referral joins the line. They're set to go. Louis Vuitton, McKinnon Stakes. thousand metres and they're off and racing. Referral missed the start by a length. Uh, Rogan Josh a little slow with Aerosmith. Rebel getting back with Sky Bow. Sent home the first one out with Londolozzi. They're two lengths to Oliver Twist, who's third. Arena fourth. Lawyer going up wide to fifth. Poking through in the middle after a slow getaway was referral, so Intergaze is three deep. About two lengths away to Rogan Josh on the outside of Rebor. Then tie the knot on the outside of Aerosmith. Rebel second last. And Skybo at the rear of the field. They've got 1,500 metres to travel. And the mayor Londolozzi goes clear now by two lengths to Lawyer. Sent home third the inside, a length and a half to Oliver Twist. They were followed fifth on the inside by Arena. Intergaze is travelling out wide. Going past referral now. Then Rebor. A half to Rogan Josh. Two lengths to Aerosmith. Smith inside, tie the knot. Two lengths to Rebel and last is Sky Bow, about 12 lengths off the lead. 1,100 metres to travel. And Londolozzi's narrowly in front here, but Lawyer's gone up on the outside of it and they've uh, gone out by four or five lengths now. Sent home is running third, a length away, Oliver Twist fourth. Intergaze has travelled three deep throughout, then referral the centre. Arena's on the rails. Two lengths to Rogan Josh and then Rebel, Eero Smith. Tie the knot should be able to work home nicely now. There's been a genuine speed, but he's third last, eight lengths off the lead. Two lengths to Rebel and five away Sky Bow. They've got about 600 metres to travel. Londolozia half the lawyer. Oliver Twist and Intergaze going up four deep. Sent home poised to pounces right behind them. Then came Arena on the rails. Next referral. Then came Rogan Josh from Rebel. Tie the knot to the outside with Rebel as they came into the straight. Oliver Twist joined Londolozzi. Three out was Intergaze. Then Rogan Josh. Next is Rebel making ground referral. Sent home and then tie the knot. 300 to go. It's Oliver Twist and Intergaze. Two lengths away Rebel. Then came Rogan Josh Josh, tie the knot, struggling. Halfway up the straight, Oliver Twist led. Coming at him, Rebel and Rogan Josh in the centre. Rogan Josh goes up with Rebel to hit the lead. It's Rogan Josh drawing the neck clear. This is a strong run. Rogan Josh coming away. Rogan Josh wins it nearly a length. Second Rebel, then Oliver Twist. Aerosmith referral in the Gaze Arena. Well, tie the knots runners really open up a can of worms. That was a poor performance. Then sent home Rebel, Londolozzi, Skybow and Lawyer. A great win to Rogan Joss and look after he's running the Caulfield Cup. He's got to be very hard to beat in the Melbourne Cup. Bart Cummings has produced another one, Dan. Certainly has. Um, he's going to go, I think, towards the top uh, two or three lines of betting and tie the knot. That, that's one of his worst runs, Gary. I'm very disappointed in very that Very disappointing at all. You know, he just didn't seem to fire at all. And whether he just doesn't handle this way of going, like I know he's run second in the Cox Plate and the Caulfield Stakes, but he seems to get on the wrong leg and uh, 
Gee, they haven't got a lot of time to get him right. Well, it's derby time. Almost cup time. Peter wouldn't be right without Bart Cummings, and he might well have uh, one of the leading chances. I'm sure he has. Rogan Josh on Tuesday. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan, after what was a slashing Melbourne Cup trial. You've seen a few good ones over the years, but uh, that'd be up there with them, wouldn't it? Oh, lesser late. He's <coughs> probably one of the better ones, but uh, well, this one rates fairly highly. He's a... Uh, the horse has come along and <coughs> proved a great deal in the last couple of months and uh, I thought it was a nice try for the Cup on Tuesday. Wonderfully, uh, the way he finished off the race must have given you very good thoughts about the 3,200 metres at the end of the race on Tuesday. Well, it shows you will settle and uh, still get to the line, which is the most important thing. And uh, Yeah, it was a good trial. There was a lot of money for this horse throughout the week, Bart. Any of it yours? No, I've got none. <laughs> You might have some after Tuesday. I hope so. Thank Good you. on you. Well done. Bart Cummings, the winning trainer. Here's Johnny Letts now with John Marshall. Yeah, John Reagan, Josh, what a great run for the Melbourne Cup. Yeah, it's a sensational trial, John. And, he, and he, uh, he give you a nice ride all the way? Yeah, he settled beautifully. They were running along at a good tempo, which I was happy about. And we just peeled out on straightening and... Um, Damien came at me, but this, this bloke dug deep. It was a mighty effort. And the run under his belt will help him a bit too, won't it? Well, definitely, John. He dropped so much in weight in the Cup. Yeah. And you're riding? Yes, definitely. Well, I think you might have a very, very good chance in the Melbourne Cup on Tuesday, John. It'd be nice to see you win it, too. Thanks, John. And back riding for Bart Cummings, too. Oh, well, why not? Yeah, yeah. he's a strength. He's the greatest. Yeah, Thanks, good luck, John. Johnny Marshall out there with Johnny Letts. And yes, this horse is now going to catapult into Melbourne Cup calculations. We're going to take a look at the replay. There is Rogan Josh in the turquoise colours coming after Indigo's and Oliver Twist. Uh, Indigo's in the white, Oliver Twist in the orange. Both of those horses were travelling, Jen, but didn't he accelerate this horse? He sure did, and he, kept, he keeps on improving, doesn't he? And I'll tell you, there's another nice run in here, Arena. You can see him in the pink colours, yep. John Hawke's colours. He gets home quite nicely towards the end of the race as well, so you'll see him front up on Tuesday, I'm sure. Tie the night went very poorly. Gee, that was a bad run from him. Very disappointing. I hope he's okay because that is completely out of character with that horse. Normally he'd be pinging home, especially Jim, when the speed was so genuine in the middle stages of that race. Dan said over about the 800 he was looking for him to run home. We all were. He just didn't. No, he didn't. And, uh, well, just really uncharacteristic of him because uh, he's so honest at, as a general rule and he normally comes home with a great finish and he was entitled to with that pacing. What about the master, J.B. Cummings? How does he do it? He might do it for the 11th time in the Foster's Melbourne Cup on Tuesday with this horse that up until a few weeks ago, no one ran a place in a Perth Cup, but no one really had heard of him that much. No, and Bart doesn't give too much away about how he does do it, but he's got the score on the board and no one can doubt that. Well, here comes Rogan Josh back to scale after the Louis Vuitton McKinnon Stakes. A magnificent Melbourne Cup trial, not safe for tie the knot, and that is something that we will be keeping an eye on. Number eight in the second placing in the race. They're coming back to scale now, and uh, it was a pretty good performance too. And uh, that, of course, was by Rebel, and number nine, Oliver Twist, in third. So it's a bit of a boil over here. In fact, it's a big boil over. Not so much with the winner, Rogan Josh, because we knew he had ability, but the Melbourne Cup favourite, Ty the Knight. Has something gone wrong with him? We'll keep our eye on that situation and bring you all the details. So as Rogan Josh comes back to the winner's stall, Bart Cummings accepts the congratulations of everyone. We'll go to a break. On the opening day of the Melbourne Cup Carnival 1999, you're watching it live around Australia and in many parts of the world on Network 10.